distinguished invitees, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Are you born? Wanakum and Islam Waikum and good morning to you. I'm extremely pleased and privileged to welcome the President of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mahindra Rajapaksa, to the 12th Global Symposium for Regulators, jointly organized by the Telecommunication Union and the Telecommunication Regulator Commission of Sri Lanka. Your Excellency's participation in the opening ceremony undoubtedly encourages all of us. We sincerely thank you for your most distinguished presence here today. Your Excellency, your presence here today is all the more significant because you have not only brought peace to our motherland, but also because you have been the life wire and the force behind Sri Lanka's success in ICT and telecommunications, both subjects being very close to your heart. Your passion and desire to empower our rural communities has earned you praise from such giants of ICT like Mr. Bill Gates. Undoubtedly, we draw inspiration from your presence at this symposium. Dr. Hamdun Kore, ITU Secretary General is no stranger to us in Sri Lanka. I wish to welcome you, Dr. Kore, to this global symposium very warmly. And at the outset, thank you for all the support and guidance you have given us at the TRC to make this symposium a successful event. Dr. Tore, this is not the first time for you to be here in Sri Lanka. And during your past visit, I'm sure you would have observed what the terrorist conflict had done to our country during a prolonged period of 30 years. You will now observe, I'm sure, during the period you are here, the giant strides Sri Lanka has made since May 2009. It is also a privilege to welcome the Honourable Ministers and Labour Ministers of the Government of Sri Lanka, as well as Honourable Ministers and Labour Ministers of a large number of countries present this morning. I welcome you all to this opening ceremony of this Global Symposium. I must also welcome Mr. Zhao, the Labour Secretary General of the ITU, and all other senior officials of the ITU to this symposium. Their support to the DRCSL has been tremendous and it is really good to have most of the senior ITU staff in Sri Lanka for this global event. Your Excellency, the President of Sri Lanka, Honorable Ministers, distinguished colleagues, this symposium brings together some of the stalwarts in the global telecommunication industry. Among them are inventors, academics, key industry players, such as CEOs of large telcos, and of course, the regulators who handle very tough situations in their respective countries. I welcome all of them to our beautiful country and to this symposium. It is their thoughts, viewpoints, and deliberations that will keep this entire symposium alive. I also warmly welcome all the distinguished invitees to this opening ceremony. There are many high commissioners, ambassadors who are present here this morning. A warm welcome to all of you. Your presence here this morning gives us much needed confidence to forge ahead in many heartbreaking initiatives. Your Excellency, the President of Sri Lanka, I am sure you would be very pleased to hear that this symposium will discuss many topics related to the telecommunication and ICT sectors that will have a great impact on the telecommunication services offered to the people in our respective countries. Later in this opening ceremony, we will be privileged to listen to you and all of us look up to your guidance and words of practical wisdom that will help us to shape our policies to serve our people's well. Although I am tasked with making welcome remarks, in conclusion, I consider it my duty to thank the many people who contributed tremendously to make this event a success. The Director General of the DRC worked tirelessly with TRC staff and many other stakeholders within and outside the government of Sri Lanka for months to bring this event to what you see today. A special word of thanks to our security team for helping us in numerous ways. The list of supporters and contributors are far too many, Your Excellency, to mention by name. Let me thank all of them for the unstinted support they have given to us. Finally, I invite all our foreign colleagues, delegates, to savor our hospitality 
for which we have earned a name throughout centuries and wish you the very best in all the work you undertake on behalf of your peoples whom you are representing at this remarkable event. Thank you very much.